Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to Mo's World. I am Mo and y'all, ah, I know it's been a while. <laughs> Life's been hectic, childs, but ah, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I am way more active on Instagram. So if you would like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle, it you can find it in the description box below. All right, so um, there have been a lot of changes. Um, but before I get into the topic of this video, two updates for you guys. I am going to come, my next video will be a pregnancy update video. So you all can be abreast of all the new developments and what's going on and just, uh, how baby Jay's rooms come, his nursery's coming about, like all that good info and footage will be in that next video. So Please make sure you're subscribed and the bell icon is on because you do not want to miss it if that's your thing. Okay, <laughs> and the second update is, y'all, I'm getting back on the saddle with my coaching business. It's been a rocky road, you know, with COVID, the pregnancy, just everything happening, but um, I... I am getting back in it and I am super excited because it just brings me alive. So I created a new YouTube video, it, or no, not new, I created a new YouTube channel specific to uh, all things coaching. So if you're anything, if you're into self-help topics, exercises, kind of like watching a video to be like, hey, I can try to figure this out on my own coaching tips, all that jazz is in is on that channel. I'm not gonna put it on this channel because uh, this is for everything else. So if you're interested, the channel link is in the description box below. Please show your support, I would absolutely love it. And subscribe and click that bell icon because for that channel, videos come out every Wednesday and I have been totally on that, so super excited. Okay, all that out the way, <laughs> let's get into this video, y'all. Pregnancy, what it has done to my locks. Y'all, okay, my locks, <laughs> my hair is growing a lot faster. Um, I retightened it last week. And I think that was like at the nine week mark. But child, it felt like I had waited 13 plus weeks to retighten my hair. Because <laughs> the new growth was like, whoa. But y'all, I will say, this was the second time I've retightened my hair since it's been cut and it goes so much faster. It is way more satisfying to do. It doesn't feel so much like a chore. It actually is like, okay, this is super doable. Like I got this, I can knock this out. So um, I definitely prefer retightening my hair while it's short. Um, yeah, definitely prefer it. So that's helpful because hopefully I can stay on top of it when baby Jay gets here and not feel like, oh shoot, I'm like four months behind. <laughs> don't want that, don't want lots popping uh, all for any issues like that or just, you know, having to do a postpartum shedding and then not retightening. I mean, that's a whole big mess of its own, but don't worry, I'm taking you all along the ride to see how my locks whew, with whole, just, I guess weather the storm of postpartum. I hope it gets that po bad postpartum shedding, but you know, I never know because this is my first time. So we'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out together. I'm taking you along on the journey. So that being said, yo, I got edges. I got edges. <laughs> I got baby locks. I got baby locks. Okay, so y'all know my hairline is probably the it's like the most fragile part and, and that's probably common with a lot of people but it's definitely the most fragile part and anytime i was with the loctician that was always the part that had to be redone 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 or it got way too skinny and way too weak and cut off but since i've been maintaining my own hair i will say my edges have done a lot better so take that with a grain of salt but since i've been pregnant and on these prenatal vitamins Y'all, <laughs> girls' hair is coming through. So let me let me show y'all. Let me show you. So y'all know this one right here, right? I've been trying to do something with this side because I've had this lock. Let me take it down. 
I've had this lock and it's been going through, it went through a lot, but when I was with lock tissues, it would never get any longer than maybe like right here. Like it would just stop there, or break off or it'll come off or whatever. Y'all, I've got it to grow out to like here. So I'm just saying, sometimes you need to just do your own hair and uh, make it do what it's gonna do, baby. <laughs> because sometimes people just, you know, you know how to do your hair better than others. And it just, it is what it is. So I have no issues with that one. Like that's not a concern anymore. But this one, I have tried to get it to do something, but it just wasn't thick enough. And it just always was just too fragile. And it would just break off or I had to cut off. Like, I've done it so many times through this long journey. But y'all, I was able to make a braid. Look at this bad boy. Look at it, look at it. It's not the only one. Let me show you the other ones. <laughs> all right, so that's one. They're all new baby braid locks. So I braided them and then during this retightening, I braided them and then I did one full rotation at the root. So I haven't washed it yet since I retightened. I'm going on like a week and a half uh, post washing my hair. So sometime this upcoming week, um, I will wash it and see how they hold up so i will come back up here for an update for that but that's one here's two let me can i zoom in can i zoom? oh y'all this ain't letting me be great oh well because i ain't editing this because if i try to edit this it won't come up it won't come up y'all because it, i'll forget and life will keep going so that's one two three look at that one Look at that. Let me get up. Oh, Lord, the baby bump. Three, four, y'all. Are you looking at this? Are you looking at this? And I got some pent up. Let me see. Here are some that are pent up. Five, six. I think that's all of them. I think. Is that all of them? What is this? Oh, let me look in my mirror to make sure I got them all. Yeah, I got them all. So I pinned them up so they wouldn't be looking crazy. Because when I first retired my hair, they were like flimsy all over the place. And I was like, woo, can't be having that with the first retie. <laughs> but yeah, I've got six. Did I count six? Yeah, that was six. Six new baby braid locks along my hairline, y'all. Along my hair hairline your girl got edges on edges on edges okay <laughs> all right i'm tripping you know me i i'm a character but i'm i'm excited and i'm not going to hide it like <laughs> that's been like you know it's an ongoing struggle but i lost a, a pin i need to go get a pin and put that in but i'll do that later i am excited about these new braid locks and <laughs> hopefully they stay hopefully they weather through postpartum because <laughs> i'm like i finally got them don't take them away <laughs> so if y'all have any tricks to the trade any advice anything about going through postpartum and possibly postpartum shedding and especially you you all who have locks please let a girl know, comment below, let me know, because your girl's trying to be proactive. So if y'all know about certain vitamins, if y'all know about like what to do with the hair, just any type of remedies, any types of, uh, any type of advice, uh, I would love to hear it. So anyways, that's what your girl's up to. Um, hair's growing out. At this point, I told you all I was going to keep trimming it up, but I'm just gonna let it do what it's gonna do <laughs> right now because I just I just don't care. And to be honest, and then um, maybe sometime in the new year, actually probably sometime after Baby J, it's kind of like I don't know. Sometime I think maybe around spring summertime when I feel like. Your girl can be, you know, bad and cute again in her cute little outfits and looking cute, colored hair. Oh, I didn't tell y'all that. I'm, I'm definitely, your girl's coloring her hair 
this spring or summer and not manic panic but permanent dye i'm ready but i'm waiting until i get my body back and you know all the good stuff you know so <laughs> uh at that point i'll reevaluate where my hair is at and if i want to recut it and all that jazz i just figured let it do its, its thing because i'm gonna be in hibernation mode anyways because i ain't going out with flu season flu season around the corner corona and everything else with a newborn ain't about it so we hibernating <laughs> so uh that's all for me right now i'm not gonna make this video super long or drawn out but i just miss you guys so much let me know what you're up to how your lock goes going how's your hair looking how's it flourishing let me know in the comment section below because i miss you guys i miss the conversation i miss the interaction all right <laughs> All right, until next time, the next video should hopefully be a pregnancy update video. Uh, I hope this video finds you blessed as always, and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye, you all.